Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Do you remember that moment in Return of the Jedi on the Death Star where Luke ignited his lightsaber to strike Emperor Palpatine and Vader blocked? In this scene, it was not Vader protecting Palpatine, but Vader protecting Luke. I will read this short extract from the Rise of Skywalker novelization. It explains everything quite well. The Emperor said, The time has come. As one, thousands of disciples fell to their knees, chanting something in a language Rey had never heard. Palpatine's eyes widened with zeal. With your anger, you will take my life, and you will ascend, as I did when I killed my master, Darth Plagueis. He grinned, showing grey oozing teeth and oozing red gums. Now, raise your saber and strike me down. Rey frowned. Luke had warned her about this. All you want is for me to hate, but I won't, not even you. Weak, like your parents. She shook her head. My parents were strong. They saved me from you. As if reading her thoughts about Luke, the Emperor said, I've made this very proposal once before, but on that unfortunate day, Luke Skywalker had his father to save him. You do not. The cavernous room shook. Light poured down as the vast stone ceiling opened, revealing Star Destroyers silhouetted against the furious sky. The resistant fighters were gnats in comparison, darting in and out, dodging fire from monstrous cannons and final order ties. Explosions lit up the sky. Her friends were dying. They don't have long, and you're the one who led them here, the Emperor pointed out. Tears filled her eyes. The resistance fighters were losing badly. The Emperor was manipulating her. Yes, but he was doing it with the truth. This was her fault. Strike me down. Take the throne as Empress. Raise over the new empire and the fleet will be yours to do as you wish. Only you have the power to save them all. Refuse and your new family dies. The thought swelled in her head until she was giddy about it. Empress, would it be so bad? Maybe taking on this mantle will be worth it to bring peace, to save her friends. The whole galaxy would have no choice but to be saved. Rey stared, agonized at the battle above her. Very well, Palpatine said. Finish them. Wait, she said. Wait. He paused, thinking she was nearly his, but a presence was making itself known to her. Even through the cloud of evil and rage, she gazed off into the distance for a moment, probing, all while shielding her thoughts. Kylo Ren had given her a lot of practice at shielding her thoughts. She turned back to the Emperor, filling her mind with thoughts of surrender, with resignation. Her grandfather smiled indulgently. Good, he said. It's time for you, a scavenger, to rise as Empress. Strike me down and pledge yourself as a Sith. So, we're looking at Palpatine say, I've made this very proposal before, but on that unfortunate day, Luke Skywalker had his father to save him. You do not. He is obviously talking about the scene in the throne room. The reason Vader blocked Luke from striking the Emperor was to save him. As Palpatine had been explaining, if Luke struck him down, then all the Sith would live in him. Palpatine would win. Luke would become a Sith. As Yoda would say, once you start down this dark path, forever will it dominate your destiny. This is extremely interesting to think about, and it shows how much Luke meant to Vader. After 20 years of being trapped under Palpatine's control, Luke gave him hope. He gave him a purpose. It is also cool to think that maybe it was Anakin blocking Palpatine from the strike. At that moment, Anakin saw the danger his son was in and acted. This was the rebirth of Anakin Skywalker, and it would help him make his choice later in ending Palpatine's life. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. What do you think about this little passage? Let me know in the comments below. May the Force be with you.